Hey guys, it's Hailey and Jess. I thought I would play Bit Life because everyone is playing it. Yeah, although I'm doing their screen recording on my iPad, so I don't know why I showed it. Anyways, all an ad. All the fun YouTubers are playing it. I have seen. It is a blank ad. I have seen Lauren do it. I've seen BJ Mike do it. I've seen Cassie do it. Boom. Um, I believe Jay's done it too. I think. I don't know. People have done it. Oh my gosh, this is the shortest ad. Ignore my. I have the little cast thingy on. Um, yeah. Anyways. I don't want to become a citizen. Okay, that's great. That's great. I am Hugo Crayford. I am. I was male born in Milton Keynes, United Kingdom. I was conceived on the washing machine. <laughs> on the washing machine? The machine was on the spin cycle. It's, um,. Very specific. My birthday is October 17th. I am a Libra. My name is Hugo Crayford. My mother. Wait. Oh, okay. My mother is. Is me? Is it is me? Is me? I don't know. He's something Crawford. A digital hygienist, age 24. And my father doesn't exist. That, that's great. I still like it that I was conceived on a washing machine. That's just great. I love it a lot. Age me up one year. Two years, three years, four years, five years. I now have pneumonia. Yay me. So we are going to go to to a doctor because by Billy Roberts and Arlo Blackfriar. We're gonna go to Billy Roberts. Yay, I don't have pneumonia. Cool beans. Um, okay. Six years. I started elementary school. So we're gonna study. Study like our life depended on it. I spent more time fidgeting around than studying for elementary school, but something's better than nothing. <laughs> I studied for elementary school and actually learned something practical. Wow. Can I study more? Can I study more? Yeah, I pulled an all-liner studying for elementary school. <laughs> this is all at six years. Oh yeah, I forgot to say. My happy... <laughs> My happiness is at 88%. My health is... I keep dropping my pen. My health is at 99%, my smarts are 53%, and my looks are 59 so I don't, I'm not that pretty. But that's okay though, I have pretty hair. And I'm British. I can't do a British accent at all, but you know, it's okay. It'll be fine. It'll be good, it'll be good. And I'll let me drink. Not sponsored by Coke. <laughs> Anyways. I'm gonna age up at seven. Um, let's let's do something with my mom. Let's spend some time with her. So we went to the movies. Cool, cool, cool. Can I have a conversation with her? Whether aliens exist. It's pretty cool. Um, let's see my mom's stuff. We have a good relationship. She is religious. She's not that generous, and she doesn't have a lot of money. But that's okay though, because we still love her. Because she passed on the the, the blonde hair to us. I just want to make sure I'm still recording. I mean, still recording. Yeah, okay. So it's okay. It's okay. Um, let's see. Can I do any uh, beverage activities at age seven? I can go to the movies, but that's about it. Go to see a children's film. Okay, well, we're gonna go through an ad because ads are movies. Because I need to know about this game. So this is my preview to the movie that I'm gonna go see. This is like the greatest thing ever, right? Yeah, oh, I don't know. What game is this? Forge of Empires. I've never played this game, just FYI. Forge of Empires. That, that's great. We went to see Weird Wednesday. That's great. Excuse me. Okay, so let's 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 um spend some time with our mommy dearest and go pick flowers and then let's study for school because you know we haven't studied in a while. 
So we're just gonna study so hard and my smarts should be smarter and it's still at 52%, but hey, I think my looks went up because I'm now 60. So there you go. 60%, oh, 61, ooh. Okay, let's make sure to spend time with Mommy Dearest. Let's stargazing, let's have a conversation. Why do, like, who is better, the Red Sox or Yankees? That's an American thing. That's not a British thing, right? Right? Can I do any other activities besides go to movie theater? Um, you know, yeah. But I don't, I don't want to see an ad again, even though The Witch on My Street sounds really good. Okay, yes, I, I know, I didn't mean to hit my button. Okay, so let's go to nine years. A bully has been telling others that you are homosexual. What will you do about it? Do nothing about it? Report him to my teacher or assault him? I don't feel like assaulting someone. So we're gonna go be a tattletale. You reported him to I squeals. <laughs> oh no! He loosened your patella. He impaled your rectum. <laughs> uh, let's fight him back. <laughs> you sucked his knee. Take that bully. I showed him. So we're gonna study harder because, you know, that bully man, I mean, he just, he just, yeah, he just, ah. But my health is at a zero. Can I, like, go to the doctor? Because I have been hurt. Billy Roberts. Okay. Billy Roberts. Okay, what about you? I'm in good health. But guys, I have been beaten to a pulp. I need you to heal my bruises. Please. Alright, well, whatever. Mm, my health will just be at 0%. My happiness will be at 30 That you were sitting in class and think of something super funny to say in response to the teacher's question. And then she calls on you. Ah, uh, rip the joke. Answer the question. Say or so say never mind. You know what? I'll just do this. I ripped a joke in front of class because I'm just that cool. So let's let's spend some time with mommy dearest because you know we haven't really done that in a while. And you know we need to spend time with mom. I mean, let's see. How old is she now? She's she's 34, okay? I'm, I'm not, I just want her to know that I love her. And, um, yeah. Yeah, and I still can't do anything, so that's cool. That's cool. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna study a little bit harder. Yeah, you know. I felt especially productive after spending some of my free time in elementary school studying. We're, we're gonna study a little bit more. Okay. So my looks went down to 52 to 56. So I don't know what I did from between 10 and 11 to drop 4%. But that's okay. The girl next door has invited you to go to see a movie. Sure, The Muscular Merman. That that sounds like a movie I would enjoy. I mean, I, I kind of did. I kind of did. But that's okay. Okay. So we're going to study just a little bit because I feel like I'm going to be, I'm going to be, you know... Um, I'm still at zero percent of my health, and I bet the doctor will be all like, "Hey, you're healthy." Yeah, I, I'm in good health. I mean, what can I do? Oh, my fiance is gonna go to bed soon. Uh, I need to like edit that out. Edit out. Yeah. Anyways, so uh, yeah, eleven. I'm in good health. I have now been diagnosed with cancer of the liver. That, that's great. That's great. Ooh. Go to the library. I went to the library, so... <laughs> I meant to go to the doctor! I meant to go to the doctor! I didn't... That... That's... That... That's sad. I was unlucky. Hugo Crayford, age 13. I mean, he died at age 13. Tragically, Hugo, Ca <laughs> Hugo Crayford lost his short battle with cancer at the liver of tender age of 13. His services were attended by his mother. That's like the only person I had a relationship with. Friends say he was unlucky to contract cancer of the liver. Alrighty then. Well, that that's that that's great. That's great. That's great. So, let's see. What achievements do I have? Well, you know, I I've done some stuff. As you guys can see, I've done some stuff. So, uh, yeah. Oh, I want to show you my past lives. Hugo Crayford was unlucky. I mean, Riley Nijinen, age 59. 
you know, she was a jailbird, but that's okay. Then I have Draken Nikolak. Age 100, I could not kill that person for the longest time. Like, once I got to 100, I'm like, okay, this person's gonna die. He just kept living. I think Draken was my, uh, porn star. That's why I had so much money. Tilda Banbury, age 73. And Odell something, age 62. I was a hero. So, yeah. Those are, those are my things. So, um, this is the shortest bit life ever because I died at age 13 because of cancer of the liver. I meant to go to the doctor, I really did, but uh, I just didn't wanna go. I was like, mom, it's okay, you don't need me. You're a dental hygienist. You'll be fine, you get to see everybody every day. It's like, you don't even see me anyway at home. So, uh, I mean, I, it's probably because I got beaten up by that bully, I mean, karma. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and end this and maybe I'll try a bit less again and maybe next time I won't die at age 13 because of cancer of the liver. I don't know. Anyways, I will see you guys later. Have a great day. My name's Helen Jess and in...